Jackie Ludlich here with Creative Scrapbooker Magazine and another Technique Taster. Today I'm going to be making this <laughs> spooky but adorable Halloween tag featuring a bunch of products from Ranger and from Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz. So let's get started. To begin with, I applied a thin layer of gesso to this a tag that I created out of Creative Scrapbooker Superstock. It is a heavyweight Superstock that weighs about 130 pounds, so it's nice and heavy. And I put a layer of gesso on it so that uh, it doesn't absorb the color as quickly. I'm gonna grab my Stampers Anonymous uh, stencil, this brick one, I absolutely love it. I'm gonna pop it right over top, and then I'm going to use some of my Tim Holtz Ranger Distress crackle paste to create this brick crackled background that you see there. I like to use uh, a recycled gift card or one of those hotel keys that you have uh, to apply my paste through stencils. And I'm only gonna apply it in three places. So a little bit here at the top, here in the middle, and a little bit here at the bottom. Lift that up. And you can see the fabulous uh, background that is there. Once it's dry, it looks like this, and you can see all of those crackles in there. I'm going to be coloring this today, that fabulous purple that you see in the background, using Lindsay's uh, Flat Magical Shakers. These are pigment powders. They're absolutely spectacular, spectacular to play with, and I really like using them as a paint. So what I'm gonna do is open it up, and they have these cute little shakers, perfect, like a, a salt and pepper shaker. I'm gonna put some in there, add some water. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush and just stir it in there, nice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and literally just paint this on. Isn't that fabulous how that turned out? Hmm, I love it. So we're gonna let that dry. And then we're gonna grab our uh, Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz stamp. This is a, a fabulous release from Halloween of 2023 and I absolutely adore this uh, mummy that we have right there. So I stamped him out using Ranger Black Archival Ink and then I cut him out. So he looks like this. <laughs> How fabulous is he? I know, right? So the next thing that I'm gonna do before I do anything else is I am going to frame this uh, with some black cardstock. Now that I've got it matted with some black cardstock, I'm just gonna go around and add this little uh, frame, you, just using a black. And then I'm gonna use some uh, scrapbook adhesives by 3L, 3D foam squares to pop up the mummy. Okay, so I'm ready to pop this on here. So I'll just find a spot, a little bit up there, pop him on. There we go. I'm gonna use some Lavinia stamp sentiment stickers. I like this one here that says, this made me smile. I adhered the sentiment sticker onto a piece of cardstock to make it stronger, but I'm also going to uh, cut it into two little pieces like that. And I'm going to use my Scrapbook Adhesives by 3L foam strips to adhere it down. Isn't that adorable? The final little steps I'm going to you do are, I have some Robin's Nest Dew Drops right here that I'm going to adhere on. And they're super duper easy. A few little daubs of glue here and there. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is add some uh, Tonic Studio Crystal Drops. So those little black drops that you see. And with this, you can make them big or you can make them small. And you're done. Thanks so much for watching. Have a scrappy day.